Welcome once more to Mathematics Pro. So today we are going to find the position of a repeating sequence. So if we look at this question, we can see that this is our first term, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. Okay, so how do we solve um, this type of problem with repeated sequence? The first step is to count the numbers of terms that are repeating. So we can see we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four terms are repeating. So we have four terms that are repeating. Four terms that are repeating. So in order to get the position, right, we have to divide the term position by four. For example, if we divide five divided by four, it will give us one, four over one if we minus so we can see that the remainder is one so mostly we are going to use the remainder to determine so look at the fit term the fit term because here we were focusing on the fit term so if we look here the fit term is one so one represent the fit term so this the fit term is the first term so most often we are going to use the remainder so let's go to our question. You have to follow this video to the end so that you should know when we have a remainder of zero, what should we do? So if we continue, like in our case, in this our equation, we are asked to find the 119 terms. So we divide by the numbers of terms that are repeating, which is four. So we have 119. So how many times is it going to go? We have 2. 11, um, 11 divided by 4 can go 2 times. If we multiply, we have 8. If we minus this, we are going to have 3. And we are going to have 9. So it's going to get 9 times. So what is, if we multiply this, we are going to have 9 times 4. 36. We minus. So we can see that our remainder is 3. So the third term is the answer. So the third term, we can see that the third term is 8. So our answer for this question is 8. Now let's look at the next question. What happens if we divide 124 divided by the number that is repeating 4? We are going to get 31 remainder 0. So what do we do when we have a remainder of zero? So ask yourself before, before the first term, which number is here, what number should be here? Okay, so you can see that before nine, we have what? Seven. So it's the last term when the remainder is zero. So we choose the last term. So this is the first, the second, the third, the fourth. The fourth is um, the fourth term is the last term, so the answer is 7. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.